Hello, my beautiful students. It's me, Stu Sensei, and I'm here today to give you some fantastic British slang. 24 in total. Why 24? Because 24 is my lucky number, and I want to give you some luck as well. This video is a shadowing video. After I tell you the word and its meaning, we're going to go through three examples, and this way you can practice shadowing as well at the same time. By shadowing, you have a greater chance of remembering the phrase, and also you can improve your pronunciation and your speaking skills. Let's get into the first one. The first one is argue the toss. This means to dispute or disagree with something. There's no point arguing the toss. The decision is made. He always argues the toss about everything. Stop arguing the toss and just do it. Number two is badger. It means to pester or nag someone. Stop badgering me about it. She badgered him until he agreed. He's been badgering me all day. Number three is bang out of order. Completely unacceptable. What he said was bang out of order. You're bang out of order for doing that. Their behavior was bang out of order. Number four is to chat up. It means to flirt with someone. He's always chatting up the girls. She chatted him up at the bar. I saw you chatting up that guy. Number five is to do one's head in. It means to annoy or frustrate. This noise is doing my head in. He's doing my head in with his complaints. All this waiting is doing my head in. Number six is to fancy, and it means to like or have a crush on someone. Romantic interest, maybe. I think he fancies you. Do you fancy her? She fancies a guy from work. Number seven's a fun one. It's get your knickers in a twist. It means to get upset or agitated. Don't get your knickers in a twist over it. She's got her knickers in a twist about the changes. There's no need to get your knickers in a twist. Number eight is to go down a treat. It means to be well received. That cake went down a treat. Her performance went down a treat. The new product went down a treat. Number nine is iffy. It means questionable or not quite right. That sounds iffy to me. The plan seems a bit iffy. I'm feeling iffy about it. Number 10 is to jack something in. It means to quit something. He jacked in his job. She decided to jack it in. 
They jacked in the project. Number 11, keen as mustard. It means very eager or enthusiastic. She's keen as mustard to start. He's keen as mustard about his new job. They're keen as mustard to learn. Number 12 is Larry. It means loud, flashy or aggressive. He's a bit Larry. Whoa, that outfit's a bit Larry. They got Larry at the pub. Number 13 is Lemon, a person who is naive or easily fooled. Don't be such a lemon, Dan. They took him for a complete lemon. That guy's a bit of a lemon. Number 14 is made up. It means very happy. I'm made up about the news. She's made up about her test results. They were made up to see each other. Number 15, naff. It means uncool or tacky. That's so naff. What a naff idea. His clothes are completely naff. Number 16 is a funny one. Not give a monkeys. It means to not care at all. I don't give a monkeys about his opinion. She doesn't give a monkeys what they think. He doesn't give a monkeys about the rules. Number 17, off one's face. It means extremely drunk or high. He was off his face last night. She got off her face at the party. They were all off their faces. Number 18, a useful one to know, is out of order. It means unacceptable or inappropriate. His behavior was out of order. The comment was totally out of order. She's out of order for doing that. Number 19 is a piece of piss. It means very easy. The exam was a piece of piss. That job is a piece of piss. Cooking this meal is a piece of piss. A ripoff. It's something that is overpriced or not worth the money. That concert ticket was a ripoff. This product is a ripoff. I can't believe how much of a ripoff that was. Number 21 is a screw up. It means to make a mistake. I screwed up this time. Don't screw up your chances. They screwed up the order.
Number 22 is sorted. It means arranged or dealt with. Don't worry, it's all sorted. It's okay, I've got it sorted. I've got the food, we're sorted for tonight. Number 23 is to throw a sickie. It means to pretend to be ill, to miss work. He threw a sickie yesterday. I saw her at the shop, she's always throwing sickies. Oh, I don't think I can go in. I might throw a sickie tomorrow. And the last one, number 24, is to tip it down. It means to rain heavily, very useful one. Oh God, it's tipping it down outside. It started to tip it down during the picnic. Bring an umbrella, it's going to tip it down. So that's 24 British slang words that not many teachers really teach, but they are common in the UK. Are there any new ones for you? I'd love to know. Tell me in the comments. And that's it for this video. If you want to know more about British English, be sure to check out this playlist. It's got great content for you to check out right now. See you there.